Hello everyone, this is Siddhant Ray here. This is part 4 of our series of basics of Java programming. In this video, we'll be diving deeper into control flow and loops by exploring switch statements and while loops. These concepts allow your programs to handle multiple possible outcomes and repeat tasks based on conditions that aren't fixed ahead of time. Let's get started. Let's start with switch statements. In situations where you want to compare a single variable against multiple possible values, a switch statement is a cleaner and more efficient alternative to a series of if statements. Each possible value is handled by what we call a case and the code inside the corresponding case is executed when a match is found. Here's a basic example of a switch statement that checks the value of a variable day and prints out the corresponding day of the week. In this code, the switch statement checks the value of the variable day. If it matches any of the cases, the corresponding message is printed. For example, if day is 3, it prints Wednesday. If day is outside the range of 1 to 7, the default case runs and prints invalid day. The break statement ensures that once the code for a case is executed, the program exits the switch block and doesn't run any other cases. Next, let's talk about while loops. While a for loop runs a set number of times, a while loop is more flexible. It continues running as long as a condition remains true. This is particularly useful when you don't know in advance how many iterations the loop will need to execute. Let's look at a basic example of a while loop that prints numbers from 1 to 5. int i equals 1 while i is less than or equal to 5 system.out.println i i++. In this loop, we start by initializing i to 1. The loop checks whether i is less than or equal to 5. As long as this condition is true, the code inside the loop runs, printing the value of i and incrementing it by 1. Once i exceeds 5, the loop exits and the program continues. This type of loop is perfect for situations where the number of iterations isn't predetermined. Let's see a more practical use case of a while loop validating user input. Here, we'll keep asking the user to enter a positive number until they do so. Scanner sc equals new scanner system.in int number equals minus 1 while number is less than or equal to 0 system.out.print enter a positive number number equals sc.nextint In this example, the loop continues to prompt the user to enter a positive number. As long as the user enters a non-positive number, the loop repeats. Once the user finally enters a positive number, the loop exits and the program can proceed. This kind of loop is very useful for ensuring valid input from the user. That was it for part 4 of our Java series. Today, we learned about switch statements which help us handle multiple conditions more efficiently than a series of if statements. And we explored while loops which allow us to repeat code until a certain condition is met. In the next part, we'll continue building on these concepts by exploring more advanced control flow techniques. See you soon everyone. Bye for now.